Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of All Outdoor. I'm your host Kevin. Today we are taking a look at the Lumade Packlight Max phone charger. Well, it's really, I wouldn't really consider it a phone charger. It's more or less just a solar powered lantern. Instruction manual, solar powered, turbo, 150 lumens, high 75, medium 8, low 15 lumens. 50 hours of runtime on low setting. That is outstanding. That is outstanding, guys. Recharges in 12 to 14 hours of direct sunlight. And this was sent to me as a free sample. Full disclosure, we're not going to let that interfere with our opinion, though. Let's give some weights and measurements, guys. Weighs in at 8.45 ounces. Let's get some measurements. About 6 inches. By 6 by six all right cool how this works turn it on it's got eight leds inside of there and you blow this part here up blow this part here up and it diffuses the light instead of light just going down it reflects and goes out which is pretty nice which is pretty nice it's got your they call it a high efficient highly efficient high efficiency solar panel change the brightness settings just simply push the power button Flash, high, medium, low, flash. To charge it, put it out in the sun with a solar charger or plug it in there. And it's also got an outlet here for charging a phone. It says that it was featured on Shark Tank. And I went on YouTube and found the episode of Shark Tank where they were talking about it. And I was fairly impressed. The two women that designed this, developed it, did an excellent job. They've got a very good market. It's, it's marketed towards people who are after the disaster and they need some type of light other than a flashlight just some type of lantern turn it on this inflatable balloon part diffuses the light blow it up by mouth got your little snap bring it around you can hang it from say a ceiling fan or a light for, light from the ceiling set it down on a counter countertop well let's go out and try it out guys we're going to wait till dark and then we're going to go out and take it around the chicken yard chicken house and see how good it does. Well guys and gals, set the light outside all day. You got about seven hours of light. And see here, push the button there. And it got about one bar, about seven hours, which is to be expected with a solar cell. Let's go on out here to the chicken house. See how this thing works. See if we get some detail. Chicken house is 16 by 16. 16 feet by 16 feet. Provides a nice illuminating light. I mean, this would be, although not that bright for chickens, coming in here and checking on him. I got a couple of broody hens on over here. Definitely bright enough to read with. Outside, walk around this fence line. As for an area light, I like it. I think the brightness, the brightest setting is just right for if you want an area effect, an area light. Turn it down a little bit, all the way to a strobe off to a night light. I mean, that would be ideal. You have some kids, you have some kids or something during a power outage, let this charge during the day, set it up in the kids room at night, at night, turn it down on low like that. That is a lot safer than a candle or kerosene lantern. Let's be honest guys, guys and gals, so whenever a power outage happens, people usually reach for a candle. Sometimes they will reach for a kerosene lantern. Let's be honest, those are fire hazards. We are in an age of where people are not used to using these, like what they used to. My aunt told me how she used to use a kerosene lantern to even do her homework. They would go to a local store owned by my great-great-grandparents and they would buy kerosene. And one time a kerosene lantern caught on fire. My grandmother picked it up, ran out the back door, and threw it out in the yard. 
if a child or somebody were to knock this off a counter and break open, the house would catch on fire. I mean, the house would be gone. Given modern technology is about as little of a fire hazard as we can get. Anything with a battery poses a fire hazard. But this is a lot less of a fire hazard than that. When the device is charging, that'll come on. And then you check how much of a charge it has by pushing that. Whereas we can see it's got one bar. Turn that around. Percentage and then charging. So you push that. It's got one bar, and that indicates that it is charging that little red light. While it was plugged into the cord, there's nothing to indicate when it's fully charged. You push that, it goes across, and it'll let you know that it's that it's charged, but it, it doesn't flash as you're charging it. And that's one thing I, I wish that's a feature that they would add, that whenever it's whenever it is charging by external source, or even whenever it's charging by solar, that that light would indicate when it's charged. And then whenever it's not charging, lights would go off. But whenever you push it, you'd be able to tell. Because I honestly don't know if it has overcharge protection or not. I left this plugged in for, oh geez, eight hours, nine hours, something like that. And I wasn't sure, it wasn't until I figured out or pushed the button that I saw that it was charged. So that's, some, that's a feature that I wish they would add. Some type of charging indicator as it's charging like flash 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 solid flash 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 solid flash 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 solid flash flash solid and whenever that turns solid green then you know it's fully charged as it is you have to push it and then say say see whether it's charged or not so what are my final thoughts for the lumade is this is the lumade pack light what are my final thoughts on it is i like it i really do i like it the radiant light that it produces is excellent. It's just right. Got a vacuum going on there. I'm gonna pull that open. Got your LEDs inside of there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's ideal. It's ideal for burnt power outages. About the solar panel. Let's set it outside, let it charge about eight hours or so. Had one bar. And that's what I would expect. I would expect for this this size uh, solar panel, charge one, two bars during a full day. I turned it on with a full charge from the computer, plugged it in the computer, let it get a full charge, turned it on, set it in the living room, and it ran for probably uh, at least seven hours. 